Hello, my name is Bob D. Hilster, and I am your particle model guru. Today I'm going to talk about the particle model as an overview and a summary, and, and not about any specific uh, e physical event. Just to give an idea for new members as to generally what is being covered. So this is the outline. Uh, I'm going to discuss the uh, particle model. TPM as a mechanical model about the three main particles, wave particle duality, two gravities, what the TPM explains, what the TPM rejects. And this is not a complete list, this is just some ideas. And then finally about the videos. Okay, the, it's a mechanical model. Physical events that are caused by the interaction of moving particles. For example, an inter the three interactions you can have as a moving particle enters an object, it can, one, pass straight through, right in, it comes right in through you, in, in my body and straight back out. It can bounce off another particle in the object, or it can be trapped by an atom as an orbital. Of course, that depends on what the object is and but those are the three general things that I talk about. And these three, uh, whether it's electronic or, or, or whatever, I, I keep using these words to explain it. There are three main particles. Although there are more than that, obviously, the physical effects can be explained using only three. There's the nucleon, which I call the N1, which replaces the proton and the neutron and hence makes up the nucleus of an atom. There's the gravity one particle, we call the G1, and that replaces the electron, the photon, and the graviton. And there's the G2 particle. And then there's no equivalent for this, uh, specifically in, the mo in modern science. But in, in this model, it is basically the source of the nuclear binding force. It holds the nucleons together. It, it keeps the G1 particle in orbit around the, the nucleus. And it, it, as it, it, it binds the nucleus and binds the atom, it also binds molecules together. Those are the three main particles. Wave particle duality. The TPM suggests that visible light is a stream of G1 particles with a repetitive pattern. There, there is no uh, ether or anything to support a wave type motion. Stream of particles. Each dot is a particle moving to the right and the distribution shows peaks and valleys and that can give you a the sense of a wave, but it's only particles. So there is no wave-particle duality in the particle model. There is no electromagnetic spectrum. There's no, you can look on the internet at electromagnetic waves and they got these two waves perpendicular to each other. No, no, this is what we have. Don't have an electromagnetic wave. And we don't have an EM spectrum as, as, as well. But there is a spectrum, and it's a G1 spectrum, because the G1 is the particle that's moving and is the light. And it's in wavelengths. It's the physical, the real physical part of the light is wavelengths. There are also two gravities. TPM suggests that there is a second gravity. First gravity is Newtonian gravity caused by the G1 particle. But there's a second gravity caused by the G2 particle. And it, it's a busy little field of particles. It, it, for light, it, 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 it causes refraction, dispersion, and, interf and, it, and when properly set up, it will cause interference patterns. It's the uh, force that keeps the G1 particles moving around as a magnetic field. It, it, it's the force that pushes uh, G1 particles from one place to the other uh, uh, as in electrons moving as in lightning and a static and, and shocks and so ever. 
it is uh, effective in many parts of the circle uh, circuits, and it, I just recently reviewed a, a memo, uh, a video that had to do with resistors. I haven't got to electrolysis yet. We'll do that. The TPM explains things that modern science doesn't have an explanation for. Left-hand rule, of course. Most people talk about the right-hand rule because they're talking about current, not electron flow. Well, I'm talking about G1 particles which replace the electron. That's electron. That's G1 flow. And when you do that, you got to use the left-hand rule. They have no physical explanation for why. They just say use it. We can explain the double slit experiment. There's a video on that. There's a video on all three of these. Parallel resistors, there's no explanation for parallel resistors. Why does one resistor, quote, somehow know about the other resistor when in fact they can't know anything? Particle model explains these and, and though I probably have a few more to add. Particle model rejects. Since there is no physical explanation for these ideas, particle model rejects plus or minus charge. There is not found in my mind an acceptable, acceptable explanation of what causes an electron to be minus and a proton to be plus. plus. What is the physical property? Uh, north and south magnetic poles uh, there's, there's, there's no explanation of that. It's just a label. But I, the particle model uses plus and minus and north and south, and what it does in the particle model is indicate the direction of the flow of the G1 particles. That's, that's its purpose in life. Not using it to describe some physical property, just the direction of flow. Electromotive force. There is, I, I, that's, when you read that backwards, uh, it's a force that causes electrons to move, so it tells you what it does. It doesn't tell you what it is. I don't know what it is. So I reject that concept of electromotive force. Okay, so we have TPM videos on this. Many of these ideas are in this video you're looking at. Uh, the, uh, generated by me under the channel name Particle.Guru. If you are new to this channel, you should view the oldest videos first. The newest videos tend to build on previous ones. So you jump in the middle, you're probably going to get part of an explanation. It's uh, difficult to have to repeat all those things and try to explain everything properly in one video. So please, take the time. Go back to uh, uh, pick ones you're interested in, and I, I believe you should enjoy the, the videos much better having viewed uh, them in a proper order. My name is Bob D. Hilster, and I am your Particle Model Guru. Tune in next time when I'll explain more of the universe using the Particle Model. Thank you for your attention.